Those who were there said, just as the father of the nation was feeling his way into his speech, a squad of about 12 stark naked females stormed the podium, seemingly from nowhere. Tolukuti everywhere, udders and breasts and teats and thighs and bellies and backsides and undertails and hips and flanks. Everywhere, unsightly pubic hair. Everywhere, unmentionable female parts of all sorts of shapes and sizes. And just as Jidada Square, caught off guard by this never-been-seen curse, taboo of unbridled female nudity, gaped in disbelief, wondering if what they were seeing was indeed what they were seeing, two donkeys raised up a white banner that said, in letters the colour of bright blood, Sisters of the Disappeared. The rest of the squad carried placards bearing photographs and names according to those who know about things, of Jidadans who disappeared throughout the father of the nation and the seat of power's reign. The naked females hinded up and down the stage, straight-backed, Tolokuti faces hard and defiant, Tolokuti eyes ablaze, Tolokuti throats roaring in hot, belligerent voices, bring back Jidadas disappeared! Bring back Jidadas disappeared! Bring back Jidadas disappeared! Despite their obvious discomfort over female nudity, the animals in the square heard the roaring right in their intestines, where lived the memories of disappeared friends and relatives, or relatives of friends, and also known and unknown Jidadans they'd read about in newspapers and on social media. Yes, Tolokuti heard the chants deep in their hearts, where also lived the unanswered prayers, the bleeding wounds, the nightmares, the ceaseless anguish, the questions over loved ones, over known and unknown Jidadans who dared dissent against the seat of power only to vanish like smoke, never to be seen again. So that there were some among the animals in the square who in fact found themselves also chanting, bring back Jidadas disappeared, bring back Jidadas disappeared, Bring back Jidadas disappeared. But softly, softly, ever so softly, so the sound would not leave their teeth, because their fear was greater than their voices. <laughs> 